When we look at the veins, since we know that this is the external iliac artery, we can conclude that this one will be named external iliac vein. When the external iliac vein gets together with the internal iliac vein, we have the common iliac vein. When the right common iliac vein and the left common iliac vein get together, we have the inferior vena cava. Now, we see here the inferior vena cava, and we have a vein going towards each of the kidneys, and these are specifically the renal veins. And this artery that you see right next to it would be named renal arteries. Now, look at this. We see here in the inferior vena cava, this vein that's getting blood from different blood vessels here in the abdominal cavity. And these blood vessels are part of the digestive tract. So basically these blood vessels are bringing all the nutrients that were absorbed in the digestive tract. And these nutrients are all being dumped into the liver so the liver can process it. And that's a way you do to remember that this right here is the hepatic portal vein. It's like a portal that opens and brings all these nutrients towards the liver, okay? Now, when you look here, you have this vein that is within the liver, and then this vein will take blood away from the liver and deliver it to the inferior vena cava. So these, all these little branches are named hepatic veins, including this one. This is the hepatic vein. When we look at this blood vessel that is leaving the spleen, this is named splenic vein, which is a little pair for the splenic artery.